When the Olympics come around, millions of Canadians get drawn into the stories of the athletes. The stories of their triumphs, their struggles, and their accomplishments all become so real that the viewers feel as though they are a part of the athlete's victory. One incredible story of achievement in the Olympics was the gold medal winning bobsled team in 1964. A picture of four men on their way to a stunning Olympic upset. The Canadian four-man bobsled team on their fourth and final run brings Canada its first Olympic gold medal. The wearers of the Maple Leaf thunder down the course to win by a fraction of a one second. To fully understand the inspiring story of these four men, we must go to where their story began, the 1956 Olympics. For it was at these Olympics that Vic Emery first witnessed the sport of bobsledding. After returning from the 1956 Olympics, Vic Emery excitedly told his brother, John Emery, about this fast and exhilarating sport. His passion spread to his brother and together they pursued bobsledding though nowhere in Canada was there even a bobsled training course. They later formed a four-man bobsled team with two of their friends, Peter Kirby and Doug Anakin. Though they loved the sport, the four men were still pursuing their own individual careers. Paul Emery was a plastic surgeon, Vic Emery had graduated Harvard with an MBA, Peter Kirby was a trained geologist, and Doug Anakin was a teacher. Though everyone looked down on them and the media labeled them as playboys, some of their competitors nicknamed them as the intellectual sled. Due to the lack of training facilities, the Emory brothers were forced to perform dry runs in gymnasiums. The closest track was in Lake Placid, New York, where they were only able to practice on a few times. Before the 1964 Olympics in Innsbruck, they were given the fewest practice runs on the track among all their competitors, giving them yet another disadvantage. It seemed as though everything was stacked against them. On February 5th of 1964, the four-man Canadian bobsled team took the other teams and the world by surprise when they shattered the Olympic record on their very first run, taking the lead by half a second. They ran into trouble when their sled bumped against the side of the track during one of the runs and was damaged. Thankfully, with the help from the Italian team, they managed to repair the sled and race again on it. The team maintained the lead throughout all four runs, winning the gold medal with a time that was over one second less than any other team, which was, and still is, a massive lead in all sledding sports. This lead was huge then, and still is today, considering the difference of time between medalists is usually fractions of seconds. Vic Emery, Paul Emery, Peter Kirby, and Doug Anakin were the only Canadians to bring home gold medals from the 1964 Olympics. No one could have predicted the massive success of these four men. The next year, they went on to the World Championships where they won gold again, proving their victory was not by fluke. In 1964, after the Winter Games, they were inducted into Canada's Sports Hall of Fame, and in 1971, into Canada's Olympic Hall of Fame. Today, their extraordinary story lives on and continues to inspire athletes around the world.